Good evening, it's Rich. Another video, another thought. Tonight I'm kind of thinking about people in the Bible who had their own plans, their own agenda, and how it turned out in the end. It doesn't matter who it is. I mean, it could be Moses, it could be Judas. Saul had his own ideas. Peter. How many others? Jonah? <laughs> it's like, no, God, I'm not going to do what you want me to do. Or, God, I think you need a little, a little help. Here, let me add my two cents worth. And we're not talking about the widow and the two mites. How many of us have heard from God and ran the other direction or didn't obey his instructions, whether it's in the Bible or it's something he sent you a message. Lord, how many times have I rejected what you've put in my heart? I know one very serious warning years and years and years ago, very much like Jonah. No, I'm not going to do it. Oh, God, I repent. Forgive me for allowing my flesh to be in front of you or before you or above you. I was in a very bad place back then. More flesh than spirit. More anger than grace. Lord, I pray as I make these videos and as I seek you with all my heart every single day that you will draw me closer to you. That you will lift me up in ways that I cannot climb up. Jesus, so I can hear you whisper in my ear or in my heart. And may I never, ever again act like Jonah or Saul or Judas or whomever there is that I've mirrored or copied. Lord, I am your servant. I finally trust you for more than hell insurance. You know, that one-way trip to heaven. Okay, I got my car. I'm going. And that's it. You changed me in the fall of 2020, in November. When I didn't trust. But I finally understood free will enough. And you asked to remove that which is in my heart. That which was poisoning me. That which was destroying me from the inside out. And so it began to trust you for more than a trip to heaven, but to trust you on this planet with my life. You gave me many things that I thought I'd never have. I never thought I'd be married. I never thought I'd have children or family. Well, I wish you would have healed my heart first, but I wouldn't continue to Pass on the generational strongholds and bondage and pain and wounds like my parents passed on to me. But I thank you that I have the opportunity, hopefully, to be different towards them, with them, and to bring healing and love to my children, my family, and my wife hopefully before it's too late. Lord, I thank you for the path I'm on now because it's the path you've chosen for me. I pray that you will strengthen and encourage me on those days when the burden I carry is so great. Help me not to hang on to things, but to share them with you. 
to pray to you to help me carry the burdens that I've been carrying around far too long and replace the heartache and pain with your spirit and your love. Amen.